Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, back with a new week of what I cooked and ate for dinner. If you are new here to my channel, I do have an entire playlist of these types of videos linked in the description box down below. So tonight's dinner, we had some roasted sausage and peppers with roasted potatoes. I love making this dinner. I love sausage and peppers in general, and it was really, really delicious. And we actually had leftovers, which is always nice. So sit back and relax and watch as I show you what I made and ate for the week. Hey guys, super easy dinner tonight. I like to do hot sandwiches for dinners sometimes. So I have some nice rye bread. Um, so I did some bacon, which was left over from the BLT pasta salad with some sharp cheddar cheese, some bacon aioli um, on my husband's sandwich with some potato wedges from Walmart some of the BLT pasta salad. I went heavier on my pasta salad because I'm not having potato wedges and I have the same sandwich as my husband except mine has tomato on it. So really easy dinner tonight. We're gonna dig in and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so this night I had my parents over for dinner and it was my husband, myself, my parents, and my son, obviously. And I made some side salad with some Italian bread that I baked um, just to reheat it and then some beef ravioli with my homemade marinara sauce that I had made a batch of and froze and thawed out. It was super delicious and we'll see you tomorrow. All right guys, so this portion of today's video is sponsored by Home Chef. I have worked with them before a few times and I absolutely love getting these boxes in the mail. They really help me save so much time. I don't have to go to the grocery store to pick up all different ingredients that I'm only going to use once. So this week's meals, I chose the Turkey Tetrazzini Skillet. Uh, they have 18 different meal options every week. You go on the website and you choose what works for you and your family. And then you can also choose the amount. So you can choose to get two portions or four. So uh, the first one again is this Turkey Tetrazzini Skillet, which looks delicious. The second is this Maple Cranberry Bone-In Pork Chop Dinner. And then I'll just have to whip up maybe like a little side salad. And then next, I got some barbecue shrimp pizza and then some Acapulco steak uh, quesadillas with cheddar, jack cheese, and red onion. So not only does each card um, come with all the ingredients and instructions, I also have a binder that they sent me um, a while back that I keep all of these recipe cards in because the nice thing is if you love these recipes, you can recreate them um, by using these cards for reference. So it just saves so much time and money. Everything comes, each meal comes in its own individual bag. So there's no guessing games to play. So everything for the barbecue shrimp pizzas in here, for example, and then so on and so forth. So my Acapulco steak quesadillas, and I just pop everything in the fridge and it's ready to go and then this is the maple cranberry bone and pork chop kit. And then on the bottom is all the meat. It is always fresh, it is always cold, and um, I like how it's packaged separately as well so you can see everything. It's just really, really easy, guys, so I highly recommend it. If you'd like to try out Home Chef, you can use my discount code in the description box down below. It is just code Grady's Mom 30 for $30 off of your first order. Everyone I know that has signed up has absolutely loved it, and if you do try it, you will not be sorry. Let's go ahead now and see what I made the rest of the week for dinner. All right, guys, here are how the quesadillas turned out. They look and smell absolutely delicious. I did do just a little side of Spanish rice, and then the quesadillas and everything needed for the quesadillas was provided by Home Chef, including a ton of pico. I even have more up on the counter, and I also put the pico inside the quesadillas as well. It even comes with individual condiments. I don't eat sour cream, but my husband loves it. So I'm going to go ahead and give him these. It gives you every single thing you need to make the meal, including things like condiments, which are sometimes things that you forget at the store. So it's just so convenient. We're going to dig in and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So this night I made breakfast for dinner. I have some sausage here and I also made some French toast with the apple caramel swirl bread. It was 
absolutely delicious. I highly recommend doing French toast with this particular bread. Um, I do do both my sausage and my uh, hash brown potatoes in the oven this time, and I just spray the tray with a little cooking spray, and they come out really crispy. Um, I do them on like 425, so high heat. So I'm plating up Matt and Justin's plates, um, and then I did mine, but I didn't film me doing my plate. But it was the same thing as theirs, but I only had one hash brown and less sausage, and also one less piece of French toast. But it was super delicious, and this is what we had tonight, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So tonight for dinner, I did the Home Chef Shrimp Barbecue Pizza on these little, like, non-little flatbreads. As always, everything was provided and they came out super delicious. I actually had a little Kraft mac and cheese left over and I put it on the side, but I could not even eat it. I was able to eat my two little pizzas and the mac and cheese I did not even touch because it was a nice hearty portion. It was super delicious. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to make dinner for the night. Um, and tonight I'm going to do one of these Hatfield pork loins. Um, these are the ones that come already seasoned. They make them in all different flavors. This is just the rotisserie season. It's like a dry rub. Um, I make these all the time, and I do purchase them when they go on sale and freeze them. Uh, as you can see, this one's from back around Christmas time that I froze, and I'm just uh, thought it out this morning, and I'm going to go ahead and make it now. Um, I do get a lot of questions about people wanting to know like how to roast meat and what temperature and all of that. Um, I definitely would recommend getting a meat thermometer for one, but on most packages of meat, they do come with instructions. Um, this one has both grill and oven instructions. So obviously you can just follow the instructions or if you're a little bit more advanced, you can kind of cook it um, at a temperature that you know works. For example, this one says 375 but I always do them at 400 and I've never ever had a problem with them drying out. So it's just kind of personal preference. But yes, I would definitely get a meat thermometer if you're somebody that gets nervous about undercooking meat um, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven. I have my oven preheating. Uh, tonight I'm also going to make some mixed veggies. I get the Great Value brand. Um, these are the steam in the bag ones and they're super cheap. And this is just the carrot, green bean, corn, and pea uh, vegetable mix. I'm also going to make... Um, some spaghetti squash that I made um, a couple days ago in a food prep for the week um, and I'm going to use this um, as like a little side as well uh, and I'm going to pan fry it to get it nice and kind of golden brown. It's going to be really good. And then I also got some fresh bread baked um, this morning from a um, uh, local grocery store bakery. Uh, this was on sale so I got, they were buy one get one free. So I got two and I'm going to freeze one. And this one I'll just slice up and put a little butter on for my husband because it's fresh so it doesn't need to be like baked um, in the oven. It's called the Vienna bread and it's from Price Chopper or Market 32 Bakery. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all together and show you what it looks like when it's done. I do, I do go ahead and add some extra seasoning on these pork loins. Um, it is the Grill Masters Montreal Chicken. Um, and even though it says chicken, I use it on pork all the time since pork is considered to be a white meat. Um, and it works perfectly. I get these big jars that like BJ's and they last me a long time. Um, so yeah, I just add the Montreal chicken seasoning for some extra flavor on the meat. All right guys, so the pork loin came out perfect as always. These are really easy to make. And then that Montreal seasoning actually forms a little bit of a crust on top, which I really like. I went ahead and pan fried up my spaghetti squash. It does, um, like it's kind of like cabbage where it starts out looking like a lot and it does reduce down when you cook it. So I have a decent sized portion for me, some steamed veggies, a little butter, salt and pepper, my pork loin, my fresh bread, it's nice and soft and doughy. And then my husband is not the biggest fan of squash in general, so I gave him about half the portion that I have as well. And I went a little bit heavier on his veggies and a little bit heavier on his meat because he does eat more than me. Obviously, he is a guy. And then his bread has a little butter on it. I like my bread plain. I'm also having a little bit of the Mott's uh, cinnamon applesauce. I don't know if Matt wants some, but I'll grab one if he does. And I am having one of these clear pineapple coconut sparkling waters tonight. I really love this flavor. It's definitely one of my favorites, um, the pineapple coconut. And I get these at Walmart if you're curious. 
So yeah guys, this is our dinner tonight, really easy. We do have leftovers. I really like using the pork loin for sandwiches. I like to slice it really thin and then maybe have some kind of a grilled sandwich and it would be really good on this bread as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we had for our dinners for the week. If Again, if you are interested in trying out Home Chef, I do have that $30 discount code linked down below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.